that is, yeah. I grew up, I was born and raised here on the, on the peninsula out in Sydney. My family has always been from here, lived here. I did live on the Sunshine Coast for about six years. My mom lived there. We had a llama ranch, so grew up with the llamas and animals and stuff like that. Uh, I grew up on a dairy farm, I think I heard you say that. Yeah. And uh, I guess it was when farming was lucrative. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden all the dairy farms around us started going out of business. And then our family was next. So then we all got different jobs, and then, uh, yeah, I'm a pastry chef by trade. I worked in all the really good restaurants in Vancouver. We took hold of this in October, so it was just pouring rain, and it was just completely green grass, and there's a lot of rocks. I guess this used to be an old property where they had a shed there, and they just decided to bury the whole thing. We had all these great ideas of a no-till system, and eventually just <laughs> keep composting on top, and we did it all with, like, um, we rented a tiller to start, and then we did by shovel every single row, yeah. and we were hauling leaves, and then we were like, let's just get a tiller. <laughs> we knew that we wanted a restaurant, and for me, it's about, I don't want to just order GMO vegetables and all this other stuff. I wanted to have complete control over the quality, the size, when I pick it, how fresh it is. That way, I know absolutely everything about what I'm delivering to someone else. Um, so we were like, okay, well, it makes sense to have the farm first, develop the soil, it's going to take a while, plant the trees, plant everything now, get everything that we want now, and let it grow for a few years, and then well, by, the rest, by the time the restaurant's going, um, everything should be able to sustain the quantities that you need. We've planted a lot of investment fruit and vegetables. Like, we can't touch it this year, but we know that, you know, it lasts for a long, long time if we take care of it, and it's delicious, and everybody loves it. Everything we plant, I have a use for in some way. I've seen it on a plate in my head. <laughs> so what are we looking at? This is our orchard. Uh, I think there's about 179, 180 trees here. These are two rows of plums. Um, there's peaches and nectarines. There's figs, persimmons, olives in the back, almonds. Um, again, it's kind of like a collection of a lot of everything. I want to do it all. And yeah, like cheese making, wine making, bees, and you know, you want, we want quail and rabbits and all this stuff. And it's just like, yeah.